Hi, it's Corrine for Cut It Home, and I'm excited to share my project with you today. I do have a full start to finish on this project that I will put at the end of this video, so if you're interested, please stay tuned for that. What I made here is a stand-up 8x8 calendar, and it's actually 8 and a quarter by 8. I use the gorgeous Time to Flourish calendar pad. I've, I've used this entire um, 8x8. I, I was able to get two projects out of this. And one of the things I like most about Graphic 45 is all their collections match together. They all seem to coordinate. So along with this, I also used the Home Sweet Home 8x8. And I also used several pieces out of the 12x12 12 12 of this. And I've used quite a few out of the Sweet Sentiments. It coordinates great with this. And the Home Sweet Home 6x6 um, pattern papers as well. So let me just go over what I did here. On the front of this I have a hanging sign. And this is by Tim Holtz. And if it's still available it's currently on sale. So check that out. I'll have the product codes um, in the description box along with Cut at Home's blog. I use some flat back pearls for the hanging the chain part. On the front here I have an Allie Edwards stamp that says Everyday Life and I have a cluster of flowers here with a few pearls and the um, calendar itself I bound with my cinch. I used some chipboard and made it as a stand-up piece. If you did not want to go through the work of doing this they, Graphic 45 sells a um, flip book that I will link to as well, and all the work is already done for you. I've used that in the past and I love it. I just didn't have one on hand last night when I wanted to make this, so I made my own. And um, I used, I what I did is instead of making it go January through December on one side, I wanted to separate the weight of the paper on both sides. So on this side I have January through June, and this side I have July through December. And even when all the papers are on one side or the other, it does hold up well, but I didn't want to chance it that it would be off-centered. So let me just flip through quickly here. And every page does have a photo mat that the recipient can also add photos. So this is, not only they, can they add journaling throughout or, um, you know, keep special dates, but if they add photos, it turns it into a memory keepsake. They could save this then. So here are the months. Let me flip through these rather quickly. And here are the backs. Each side has a mat that is five by six. February, there's some cutouts from the Sweet Sentiments collection. Here's March. April, there's a few more Easter cutouts here. This is These collections are so pretty. I love how they all coordinate well. May. Look how beautiful that paper is. There is June. And then here's the back of the first part of the album. So there's a, a six by six photo mat on this. So then when you go back to this, here is essentially the back of the album. I put a large coin envelope so the recipient can add receipts, journaling cards, more photos, whatever they would like in there. And then when you flip it over, Again, another large photo mat on this side. There is July, August, September, October, November and December and again the back will have a large photo mat so again I do have a start to finish on this if you have any questions please leave me a comment and check out Cut at Home's blog where there will be all the details on how I made this along with measurements thanks so much for watching oh and let me just um, also let you know on 
let's see which page it is. On the back of this page, I, I forgot to show you this one, there is a um, pocket here with a journaling card and I cut this on my Cameo. I stamped it with the Just Right stamp. This is a beautiful stamp set. And it says, Dream the Impossible. And I did leave the side part of it open. That way photos can be tucked behind here along with journaling cards as well. So again, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.